We're now going to take a look at the important role of putting images into our pages and particularly images that are responsive. So the first thing that we're going to look at is creating a background image. And I'm just picked up here one of the project files that we've done earlier on when we were looking at the CSS grid and when we we're looking at landing pages and we we're looking at how to position text on landing pages. So now we're going to put in a background image here where it currently is grey. So you can pick this content up from the CSS grids project files and uh, start with that one. So this is called featured, this area that's here. Let's go into the CSS and here's the featured area. It's 80% of the viewport height and uh, it's got a background color of gray in which we can see when we hover over this. So we're gonna get rid of the background color of gray and instead we're gonna put in here a URL. We're going to come out of the CSS folder into the images folder and put the background image in. And there goes the background image. Now by default, it's automatically tiles and we can see that it tiles from the top corner up here and it tiles across so not always the best thing that you're looking for if you want it centered on the screen you can at least center it by center center and that way it's always going to be centered either way on the screen but again it's still tiling and it's not ideal for if you're trying to create a responsive layout so i deliberately put a smaller image in so we could see that in action so instead what we can do in here, if we always want this to cover the background, there is a background size option. And the background size option can be contain or cover. Let's look at both of them. We'll do cover first of all, it's probably the more useful of the two. When you do cover, it automatically covers the browser window no matter what, size, oh, rather not the browser window, the, uh, the size of the div, no matter what size that happens to be. So we can see it's working pretty good there. If we do contain, what it does instead is actually, let's uh, tell it not to, um, no repeat, not to repeat itself. And what we can see there is that it will contain it within that section. So if it gets too narrow this way, it then sort of crops it that way and likewise here. So it always fits proportionally within, which is useful, but Again, we can see the issue here, white text on the image. And if it goes this way, we can see the white text is lost. It's still there, the text, but it's just, it's not going. So cover is probably the better one of the two. Another thing that we could do on here as well is we could say it's fixed, which means that when we scroll, it will not move down, but the, the image will stay fixed as we scroll. And we could demonstrate that by adding some more content to our HTML page. So let's go ahead and add another div in here and I'll give this a class of text. And I've just thrown some text in there because I already had some available. It's a couple of paragraphs of text just to fill it up. And let's create the, the class for that. Okay, so with the fixed background now, when we scroll up, we can see exactly what happens, that the image stays fixed on there. Now, it's worth pointing out that there is a slight bug with this on iOS. And if I just do a quick search, iOS background fixed cover, we can see there is a ton of questions here around that. Basically, what happens is that instead of it being covering this particular div, it covers the entire page. So you end up with an image that's really, really big and stretched. So just on iOS, the fixed and cover do not work in conjunction with each other, but only on iOS. So just worth pointing out. And now as I've committed that to video, we know that it's gonna get fixed. So that I have to record this all over again.